I decided I was gonna calculate exactly how many hours I spent studying in medical school. Here's what I found. But first, here's a quick overview of how medical school works. The first two years of medical school are spent in the classroom actually learning the medicine, and the next two years are typically spent in rotations like surgery, OB-GYN, internal medicine, pediatrics, learning, and practicing. Now for me, my school did the first two years and one and a half years, leaving two and a half years for everything else. So let's break down each of these by exactly how many hours I studied. Now starting with my first semester in medical school, this was by far the busiest of them all because one, I had no idea what I was doing. Two, I had anywhere from three to four classes plus a lab to study for. And three, each of those classes could have anywhere from 15 to 30 pages of material per lecture. And because I didn't know what I was doing from Monday to Friday, I was easily pulling 10 hours a day, including lecture. And then on Saturdays and Sundays, I was easily studying eight hours each day. And that was just to keep my head above water and to study the basic material. But every three to four, weeks I had an exam and I was easily adding anywhere from two to three hours a day to my total daily average. So on a monthly basis that comes out to 66 hours on my quote lighter week. Multiply that by three weeks for a total of 198 hours and if you add an extra three hours per day on an exam week that comes to 87 hours and so that brings a ridiculous total for the first semester at 285 hours or about 9.5 hours a day over the span of 30 days. Now each semester of medical school was about four and a half months so when you put it all together that means my first semester I studied an insane 1,282 hours. Now going into semester number two, this was my victory semester for a few reasons. One, we had to do less classes, and two, I was much more efficient. I completely changed how I studied in medical school. And instead of doing things that didn't work for me, like going to classes, I completely skipped class and started getting into my personal strategy ASAP. And that helped decrease my studying hours by a lot. For example, on Monday to Friday, I was easily studying now only six hours a day, plus about two hours of lab work per week for a total of 32 hours. And on Saturdays and Sundays, because now I had a plan, I was typically taking a half day on both and now setting a grand total of eight hours over the weekend. And so that brings our total to 40 hours on a lighter week compared to 66 hours just a semester before. And when it came time to study for an exam, I was adding about two hours per day from Monday to Friday and about four hours total on the weekend for a grand total of 54 hours on my exam prep week. And so that brings our total monthly average to 174 hours or a total of 783 hours for the entire semester compared to the 1,282 hours we had just a semester before. I would consider that to be much, much better. Now, a quick breakdown of semester three, everything felt super streamlined. So every day felt like I was both learning as well as preparing for the exam. So my lighter weeks went from 40 hours on average to 34 hours. My exam weeks went from 54 hours to 45. Bring our monthly average during semester three to 145 hours per month and a grand total of 652.5 hours in the semester compared to the 1,282 hours that we started with. And that also brings the grand total of probably the busiest part of a medical school when you're in the classroom my first year and a half to a total of 2,717 hours and a half, as if that half hour did anything. But unfortunately for me, I still have an extra two and a half years left of medical school. But we're gonna go ahead and break down each of those in quick categories. Now, category number one is USMLE step one. This is a license exam that we take about midway through medical school, where I studied about 10 hours on average for over six days over the span of about five and a half weeks for a grand total of 330 hours. The next big category is clinical rotations. This is where you're actually in the hospital practicing what you learned and the grunt of that took span over 12 months. This is where I was doing rotations in internal medicine and surgery and family medicine and psychiatry and pediatrics and etc. And my hours during these rotations varied as early as 4 a.m. or 8 a.m. depending on the rotation ending to about 5 to 7 p.m. Now I'm not going to count the time that I was in the hospital as studying time because I wasn't always studying although you could argue that it was studying in one sense or another but typically in our rotation, I was spending about at least an hour of some kind of work that I got done while I was in the hospital of studying and then extra two to three hours when I came home. And I was doing this on average about six days in a week. And at the end of these rotations, I had to take an exam to show that I mastered the topic. So I was typically adding an extra hour to my normal studying. Now to break this down, most rotations were anywhere from four to eight weeks, bringing the average to about six weeks. And so over the span of six of those weeks, four of those weeks, I was studying my typical 24 hours. And then about two of those weeks, my hours increased to about an average of 36 hours. And so that means over the next 12 12 months of rotations, I studied about 1,456 hours. Unfortunately, and we're not done, the next big category that you have to study for in medical school is taking step two. This is your second license exam that you typically take towards the end of medical school. For me, I was studying about six hours a day over the span of four weeks, over the span of six days a week for a grand total of 144 hours. And the final major category is my fourth year of medical school plus some research time. Now, this is by far the lightest part about medical school in terms of studying hours because now you're preparing for your future career and less so about studying for for an upcoming exam. So your rotations are lighter and often you don't have an exam at the end of each month. So on average, I was studying about four hours a week or 16 hours a month. 
bringing our grand total during our fourth year plus some research time to about 130 hours. And so when you add all of that up, we come to a grand total of 4,777 and a half hours spent studying in medical school. Now, don't get me wrong, that is definitely a lot of hours, but I could have easily spent hundreds to thousands of more hours if I didn't learn to study the right way. So if you're interested in that one strategy that changed the game for me that second semester, go to this episode right here on how I use Anki like a pro using some advanced strategies. And this episode right here on how I studied in medical school step by step. As always, my friends, thanks for being a part of my journey. Hopefully I was a little help to you guys on yours. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.